What's going on guys? A couple summers ago, I went on a really cool overland trip and I used a Dirt Out Pro to quickly and easily plan it. So today I want to show you how you can easily plan your next road trip using the Dirt Out Pro. But first off, I will mention you do need to be a pro member in order to do this. But I will review and go over why I think it's worth it towards the end. But for now, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily plan your road trip. So let's do it. So first off, you're going to have to make an account. You can either do this on the desktop or you can do a little mobile app like I got right here. In order to do that, either I personally would just download the Dirt app um, on your phone and then sign in, make your account, and then uh, purchase the Dirt Pro membership. And from there, you'll be at the same spot that I'm at right now and we can start planning this trip. So let's get into it. All right, so now that you're signed into the app, you have the Pro membership. You should be at where I'm at right now, which is the home screen. So from the home screen, we're going to go to the pro membership tab on the bottom right. And here you can, if you're in the pro benefits tab, which you should be following along with, um, it'll show you all of the pro uh, benefits you get. So you get free camping, camping collections. Um, you can do dirt alerts, which is really uh, cool, where you can say, hey, look at Yosemite and tell me when a spot opens up, because we all know Yosemite is always booked up, but people cancel, and so if they cancel, it'll send you an alert through here. Uh, it looks like you only get, you can only scan, do two scans at once, so um, choose wisely, but it'll alert you when a spot opens up, and then you can reserve it right there. Really cool. And then if you have an RV, they have stuff for you. It'll show you dump and water stations. And then my maps is really cool, because this will show you um, BLM land, uh, U.S. National Forest land, public land, which if you're an overlander and you're doing dispersed camping like me, that's a, that's a really cool deal, really important. And another thing is, is it gives you camping discounts, which is up to 40% off. Um, and this is, it's really cool stuff. 40% off on some uh, campgrounds that are associated with the, the, uh, the Dirt app. You can book from here. But uh, as far as today, we're gonna do plan a trip. That's why, that's why you're watching. So, um, so click on plan a trip. You can see there's a little plus plan a trip button right here. We're gonna click on that. And you can do a recommended trip or a blank trip. Um, I kinda like doing recommended. It gives you a good little skeleton to go off of and then you can kinda um, finesse it and pick what you want from there. So we'll go recommended. We'll do a round trip. So we just need to do a start and end location. Um, so I'll start from, let's say Dallas, Texas. We're gonna go, we wanna stop along the way. I wanna go, so let's say we wanna stop at Moab, Utah. Highly recommend it. Moab, Utah. I'm gonna continue. Do you wanna stop based on time hours? I would highly recommend to not drive more than four hours um, because if you're doing a trip and you're driving six to eight hours, I mean, by the time you get to the campsite, you're just going to set up and go to bed <laughs> and then maybe you'll get like a day to enjoy the camp and then you're just driving again. So if you really, in my opinion, want to enjoy the trip, I wouldn't uh, drive more than about four hours a day. So I'm definitely going to stop based on time and we'll say four hours. Continue. Um, let's just say any for now for how much we're going to spend because uh, a lot of spots that I'm going to go to, I have rooftop tent, so I like to go to dispersed or uh, dispersed campgrounds, which usually don't cost much or anything at all. So we'll just say any, but I might have to make a stop at like a state park along the way just to have a place to stay. So I'll just stay at any. I have a truck. It has a whopping 13 miles per gallon. <laughs> Uh, regular fuel, no trailer, so but this is really cool. It'll kind of give you an estimate of how much uh, you'll spend on fuel on your trip, which can definitely is definitely important. Uh, and for this, let's try and avo avoid tolls. Continue. We'll call this uh, YouTube YouTube trip. Uh, trip. Cool. Build my trip, and you just hit that button, and it'll build you a cool little trip for you. And then ta-da, we picked the highest rated places to camp between Dallas, Texas and Rocking ARV Park that work 
that work best for your trip? Uh, sure, we'll explore this. And let's do zoom in a little bit. So here we are, Dallas. And then it looks like we make a stop in, okay, back 40 RV park. So this is interesting. So this is kind of more of an RV, more RV related for sure. But again, if you're an RV guy, like this is, this is the deal right here. But one cool thing about this is we can always change. We're not stuck to, to what is there. So let's zoom in. I would rather go to Paladero Canyon much, much, uh, so we can search this area and then boom, looks like this is some dispersed camping right here. So yeah, so like I said, let's hang out in the state park for a night. Let's look at this heat campground. I like it. That looks cool. So we can, as you can see, another great thing about this app is that it's a large database of reviewed campgrounds they have pictures and so you can get a good feel of where you're going and if it's gonna be a decent stop for your trip so I like this one this would be I will replace that uh, RV park with this more tent friendly I, mean, I, don't, I don't need electrical and water hookups so this will be great for me so replace yes and I'll update it and then all right so that is not updated so now let's continue to update this. Yeah, so now, hmm, now we're driving seven hours from Dallas to, to Paladero. I'm breaking my own rules here. Yeah, we might have to make a stop. So with that being said, from Dallas to Paladero is about an eight hour drive, which I'm not trying to do. So this is real time action here. Let's add a stop in between to cut that down. And so we can go right here and go search. And then it'll search this area. And we can filter. There's a cool little filter thing. So here's the filters tab. So let's say we want established and dispersed. And then uh, we'll update that. This might be the, what is this? Copper, okay, cool. So here we go, here's a state park we can stop at. Copper, Copper Breaks State Park. And let's check it out. So, oh yeah, that's cool. I like that. See, he's got his rooftop tent. Oh, that's like a, a Rivian or something. So I like this spot. So we'll add the trip. And we'll update it. And now let's look at it. So now, I don't know where it added that into. Okay, it looked like it added that to 11. So instead of putting this at two, it has an 11. So we can go in here. Then you can go to organize my stops, and we want that at at uh, two, right there. Update. No update it for you. Cool. So now we have a four-hour drive from Dallas to Copper, then a three-hour, twenty-six minute drive to Mesquite Campground. And so we're gonna have to replace this number four or something. So I wanna go, let's see what's out here. Search this area. And it looks like some spots out here. Let's put a filter on. What do we want? Let's do, let's do tents. And then we could do Let's do uh, four star ratings and above. That'll whittle it down a little bit. Maybe if we take established off, what would that do? Seven campgrounds. So this will be mostly dispersed at this point. I would definitely rather camp near Taos. Ooh, there's some dispersed camping here. Let's check it out. Rio Fernando de Taos, Forest Road. I like it. So let's replace that. Replace. So Dallas to Copper to Mesquite. And so this is a, oof, it's a six hour drive, but 
The thing is, is there's really nowhere in between here and there the, we're, like we're stopping at. So I think, you know, I mean, like I said, sometimes you just gotta do a six hour drive and, and I'm, I'm okay with it here. So we'll keep that there. So now we're going up there. Um, let's see, lots and lots of options of camping. I love Utah, Colorado, and this is northern part of New Mexico. It's just awesome. So let's replace this guy. And we already have our filters on, I believe. Yeah, so we're only doing dispersed. So let's go search. And as you expect, there's a lots of results here. So Pagosa Springs, uh, what do you got here? West Fork, I think I've actually camped here before. But, no, oh yeah, I like it. So let's stop here, replace. Let's see how long of a drive that is. That is a, uh, okay, yeah, so a four hour drive, cool. And so that's, you know, I don't, I mean, I don't wanna continue on. I think you can kinda, you can kinda understand what I'm doing here. I'm just, basically I use the Planet Trip uh, feature on the dirt, so it automatically populated for me. And then I just kinda go through there and adjust it to what I want and what kind of camp campgrounds I want. And I mean, it's a quick process. You can get a really nice uh, overland trip, RV trip. You know what the campgrounds look like. You know what the rating is. You know there are nice spots. And then it'll tell you the drive time, you know, how much you'll spend on fuel. You can share this with a friend. So if I go, I can go share my trip and it'll bring up, um, you know, people you talk to a lot. You can share it over email, whatever. And uh, and so I'm gonna finish making this trip, how exactly how I'd want it. And then I'll show you the finished product and, uh, and we'll close it out from there. So I finished building the trip and I'll give you a little, little overview of what, what's going on. So I'll click YouTube trip, and this will pull it up and here you go. So starting in Dallas, Texas, and then we're gonna go to the state park which is about a four hour drive. Then we're gonna go to, go to, we're going to go to Mesquite Campground, which is in Paladuro State Park. And that's about a three and a half hour drive. Then we're gonna to go to Taos, New Mexico, um, which is three hours, 17. And then we're gonna to go to West Fork Disperse, which is in Colorado, which is about a four hour drive. And then finally, we're gonna to go to Yellow circle dispersed, which I believe, okay, yeah, so this is the one in Utah. And this made, so we made a Dirt Pro trip um, in about 15, 15 minutes. I got all the stops planned out. I know what everything is. Again, it's a large database of reviewed campgrounds with photos and videos. So we know what we're getting into. We know how much it is. Um, and as far as going back, I just, uh, I just kind of went to some spots in New Mexico, some dispersed spots, um, and then one right here. And then I just kind of connected back into my uh, trip um, on the way to Moab. So it's a, it's a full round trip all planned out, ready to go. You know I mean? Uh, how can you beat that? It's, uh, it's super simple and it gives you lots of information and uh, I love it, and that's why I'm, uh, I'm telling you about it and trying to help you out plan your trip. Um, so on to Dirt Pro review, what it offers you and why I like it. So number one is obviously the plan a trip. That's my main thing with this app is I can plan my trip out easily and I know everything about it and I'm uh, confident that we'll be ready to go. And also you can do uh, so for those state parks that we went to are going to go to hypothetically in this trip um, You can you can book it ahead of time so that it's all booked out and just everything will go smoothly That's number one number two is It's a large database of known campgrounds reviewed campgrounds and it's going to continue to grow and grow and grow um, It has a really cool system where if you review a whole lot of parks and post um, reviews you can get a certification of being a, a legend user or a ranger. So it kind of gives people incentive to review campsites so that they can 
it's kind of like a fun game you play. So I think that that's why it has such a large database of review campgrounds. Number three is it has land mapping feature. So we look at if we go back to the app here. Well, actually, let's just go back to the trip we made. So if we go here, um, you can click on this uh, little tab. It looks like a map on the top right. And then you can click BLM, which we already had clicked, or US uh, Forest Service maps. And if we go back, so that's all of this uh, like orange and gray. That is all US Forest Service and BLM land. So as you can see, that's mostly out west where unfortunately in Texas and the rest of the country, we don't have as much as that. But so that's another cool feature is it has the maps uh, ready to go, which is very useful if you're doing more of a overland trip with dispersed areas. And then again, I said it has the dirt alerts, which will alert you when a campground at a highly popular park, such as uh, what's a good one? Yellowstone, Yosemite. Um, it'll tell you when those parks are uh, cancellation happens, which they happen quite often. People book trips to you know these these huge national parks uh, months in advance, and then plans change and people cancel. And this and the dirt will alert you when that when that happens, so that you can go in there and, and make your reservation. And all of this is for an annual membership fee of thirty five dollars, which comes into a whopping three dollars a month. I think that if camping is something you like to do and you do and you like to go on big trips, you're going to places, different uh, camping places a lot, um, I think it's completely worth it. And uh, I mean, I'm not sponsored by the dirt. I, <laughs> I have three subscribers at this point. So, I mean, this is just me telling you about a product I like. So there you go. That's how you can quickly plan your next road trip and how to do it what to do it with, and why I think it's completely worth it. So if you made it to this far, again, please consider subscribing, giving the video a like, commenting down below on uh, trips you make, you're gonna make, just, you know, wanna, want some engagement here. Let me know, let me know you're enjoying this, this uh, recording here. So with that, thanks for watching.